hello guys welcome to this video in this video i want to show you the best alternative to butter dollar card right i know most of us are business owners and we have a, our website hosted on international companies and to make payment on this international website most of our naira card will not work so we need an alternative we need to make uh, the payment using a dollar card so um, and uh, for over some weeks now we the only method we are using most of us we most of us are using butter dollar card most of us are using cheaper cash and other major virtual dollar card issue out there but for the past three weeks now most of them have suspended their operation of uh, on offering dollar card so now i want to show you the alternative you can use um, for making your international payment online without um, so much stress right so in this video I'm, I'm going to show you the dollar card you will use the the method you can use and how you can get the dollar card and also how you can fund the card with ease you can even fund the card by just making um ussd trans transfer or using your bank app to make the transfer to this dollar card and from there you get all the details you need to to make your payment online so if you are visiting my channel for the very first time you may want to subscribe to this channel because we'll be i'll be dropping new videos every now and then on business growth on how to make money online and how to sustain your business online also don't forget to turn on the bell notification also don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you will receive um new notification on new videos now other thing i wanted to notice that if you have any content you would like me to create a video on or you have a particular topic you want me to talk about you can check out um, the description i have dropped a link for you to request for a content from me so just click on the link and submit your content request i will do my best to um, attend to the request and create a valuable video on each of those content All right now let's dive in into this um, video now the method we are going to be using in this video is dollar card from sudo africa now sudo africa is also sudo africa is a platform that offer business owners a way for them to collect payments from their customers so now they, are, they now have um, another platform where they offer virtual card now this is the website for for the sudo dollar card or i just visit this website on your browser is either on your mobile phone or on your laptop but i prefer you use laptop if you don't have a laptop it's okay you can use your mobile phone to visit the website visit the website www.giftcard.sudo.africa now when you visit the website this is what you are going to see on the website as you can see right now there are three um, options here we have a create card we have view card and how it works now you don't you don't have to go through how it's works because i'm going to show you how to do this by yourself all right now the first thing you want to do right now if you don't have a card on this website before you go ahead and click on create card now this is what you are going to see for create card now you select your country you know, normally it's nigeria it seems and uh, nigeria is the only country over there now you input your bvn number when you put your bvn number you put your phone number and you put your name now i'm going to try it with my own information i think i have used um the information before but uh, let me check maybe they will accept it again so you enter your bvn number i will enter my bvn right now then enter your phone number then you enter your name then you click on verify identity oh i think uh, there's an error with the bvn i entered let me check let me recheck okay there's an error with the instead of so let's try it again verify identity so i think the reason why this is showing up right now is because I have I already have a card. I already used my BVN to verify uh, my identity. I already have a card on the platform. So once you click on verify identity and your identity will be verified, the next thing they will ask you to do is to make payment. Okay, they will ask you to enter the amount of. Now once you verify your identity, the next thing they will ask you is for you to enter the amount of money you want to pay. Let's say you want to make a payment of twenty. Twenty dollars. So you enter the amount of money there. So let me show you an example. Let's say you want to make payment of twenty dollars. So you click on get code. When you click on get code, you make you click on make payment. They will show you 
the amount you are going to pay in naira and also the charges so the total amount you'll be paying plus the charges will be this one so you click on make payment when you click on make payment they will so when you click on make payment they will show you the account number you are going to make the payment to and uh, make sure you make the payment within this time they give you once you are done making the payment and you are sure that your account has been debited you click on i have made this transfer immediately you click on i have made this transfer they will confirm the payment and uh, your your balance will show on your card you know the balance will show right here. this is my own card your balance will show right here now one thing once you are done making the payment and you are done using the the card one thing you want to do right now is to copy your reference details to copy your reference number right here this is my own reference number you copy your reference number and save it right now once you save it, the next time you want to make payment, you, you you go ahead to where you save your reference number. Once you copy the reference number, you go ahead to where you where you where you save the reference number and then you come back to Africa. Copy your reference number, then you click on view card. Right, you don't need to come back here to create card again, just click on view card. So once you click on view card, you enter your reference ID. So once you enter your reference ID, you click on view card. They will show you your card information. And if you need to make payment again, just come down and click on, um, just come down and enter the amount of money you want to pay. Click on get quote and make a transfer again. All right. Now, the next thing you might want to do is that if you forget your reference or maybe you did not save your reference, you click on forgot reference. You enter your details again, your bank verification number, your phone number. Make sure the phone number you are you are using is on your BVN. If not, your transaction will not be successful. The card creation will not be successful. So make sure the number you are using is linked to your BVN. So the next thing you enter your name, then click on verify identity. They will show you all your details again. Now that is everything I need to show you about this video. Now don't forget to share this video to other business owners out there and also to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get new videos. Also, if you have a content you want me, if you have an idea or you have a topic you want me to create a content around them, just go to the description below and click on the content request link and drop your content request. I will attend to them anytime soon. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I will see you right in the next video.